Hey guys, uh, Crooks is sitting here back again from CNH Small Engine again for another uh, informative uh, review video. Uh, this one will be dealing with the uh, machine you currently see in front of you. This is a uh, older machine. This is actually made in uh, West Germany, if you actually believe it. So that basically gives you a time frame of when this thing was actually produced. Uh, this machine is a steel chainsaw. Let me get it out of the box here for you guys. Still has the original box here. Was it was purchased from, at the dealership. Here we go. Here you go out of the box. It's a steel chainsaw, uh, steel model number uh, 032AV to be spe uh, specific on your for that. As I said before, it is uh, made in West Germany as the uh, tag says it on the recoil star on there and also on the actual chain so you know it's uh, basically original from the factory right there for that. Here's the actual shot of the uh, top of the engine right here as well too. Still 032 AV with the electronic quick stop. Has uh, 72 links for the actual chain on here. And it's a 3 8 um, uh, 3 8 pitch right there specifically for the actual chain as well too. And it's the steel roll-o-matic uh, chain, uh, chain on her specifically for that. And it also has the uh, oiler up front on here for the older malls as this one is right here. Plus you have your gasoline mix, or I should say your oil and gas mix uh, container in the back here as well too for your fuel tank. And you also have your on off switch on the left hand side right here as you see right down here. It's on and off as well too right here for that. On is up. And you also have your choke down below that as well too. Choke position is up all the way right here as it is currently uh, situated right now. And uh, choke off is down as you see right there for that that's how they specifically had on these older machines right here as well too let me flip this thing around here for you on the other side <coughs> and there you go on the other side with the actual um intake uh specific side you have your air box covered basically this covers up your whole entire carburetor and that uh, keeps the air box uh clean and free of any kind of debris getting down inside there as well too and here's your uh chain uh chain guarding the actual chain uh whole chain uh sprocket assembly guard as well too for you on that side right there specifically uh this machine was actually made uh back in uh 1982 i believe because uh i talked to a couple of my friends online and unfortunately uh these older ones they do tend to have um more problems to say the least than the newer ones that are uh, specifically uh the guy brought this one specifically over to me here this past week and he wanted to get the things you know running started and stuff like that because it was apparently sitting in his grandfather's um uh, storage unit some kind of a storage place out there and it had been sitting there for about 15 20 years and unfortunately um we took the uh, fuel system off the actual uh, fuel tank and uh, carburetor and everything else and we cleaned it out and uh, put it back on there and uh, the carburetor is still not acting properly for us at all over here it, it's um, running fine one minute then the next minute it's, it's surging like nuts out there for that and uh, unfortunately a new carburetor is about $95 plus shipping and handling and tax for this specific machine he also needed a, a new recoil uh, rope on here as well too we had to put a, uh, a good stents commercial duty uh, rope on it as well too because the old one uh i had to pull this thing over so many times the actual rope snapped right off on me i was pulling it about a dozen times and it just basically broke right off my hands the other thing was um uh the whole um chain bar sprocket assembly that was completely packed with old um you know crummy um you know uh debris from the uh, actual chain being used and we that, that thing had to be completely cleaned out and uh, disassembled as well too but uh right now the machine will not start so I, I basically cannot do a demonstration video for you sorry about that guys but uh overall these older stills were you know actually in you know um if you can find what's in like great shape out there uh, i definitely say it's actually worth keeping but if you do find one that's been sitting for 10 20 25 years uh you will probably run into problems primarily with the carburetor on there as well too uh, another problem is uh some of these ones um well i see the, the older ones they might have uh, problems with the actual um uh, you have an intake boot on these things as well too guys most uh steel chainsaws have uh, intake boots between the engine and your actual cylinder bore itself right here you have an intake boot straight down inside here between um, your cylinder right here 
and the actual air box assembly that goes down inside a car, you have an intake, you can't actually see it, I'm sorry for the non-picture right here, but you have a black uh, cylinder shape intake boot down inside there, and some of the older ones, uh, they do tend to actually have that boot start cracking and splitting down inside there, and be mindful of that if you do actually buy an older steel machine such as this one, like I said before, this one was made back in 1982, so it's about 35, almost 36 years old right here specifically for that and because of the age uh, trying to find parts can be uh, somewhat of a bear basically on these older machines because of that one fact uh, they do still make uh, parts for them however uh, the actual tilts and carburetor we, had, we were actually able to get a carburetor kit for it specifically even though it was about 25 I think about 25 28 bucks for a new um, uh, tilts and carburetor build kit it's the H series they have in this uh, specific machine here as well too so if you have a 032 AV uh, they have a tilts and carburetor and it'll, it'll be a H series uh, carburetor with build kit you will need for these uh, specific machines as well too uh, and Overall, it's a good machine. Like I said before, the only problem is uh, if you if you do have to do some kind of major repairs, like the carburetor, they do tend to be pricey on here for that. Um, uh, the customer, I said that before, the customer we had over here who dropped it off had it sitting in storage for quite a long time, and they didn't want to pony up the cash to actually have it repaired properly. So unfortunately, they're not going to get it repaired. Re actually repaired. Uh, the actual car where we did take off, it was almost black inside because the gasoline was sitting in there for, like I said, about 15, 20 years. And anytime you get, like I said before, anytime you get an older machine like this, uh, be extremely mindful when you do buy it because you don't know what you're actually getting into until you have some kind of detailed records of the actual purchase uh, original owner because if you have a machine that was maybe bought and sold maybe two or three times and you have no way of actually talking to the original owner or the owner after that and you have no way of um, having some kind of records for typical maintenance out there I'd say buyer beware because if you find a chainsaw like this at a flea market or on eBay or something else and you see it going from a 20 or 30 or 40 50 bucks out there and it, and it says it will sit in storage for, for a long time I would not personally purchase it because you have no idea what you're actually getting yourself into. It's almost like a black, uh, black hole. It's, you're just going to be throwing money into it unless you can actually see it being demonstrated to run properly. So anytime you buy one of these machines, if you can, please make sure the thing runs good prior to you purchasing it from a person at yard sale, flea market, or some kind of hawk shop out there for that. So that's my basic review and recommendation if you do find one of these machines out here overall they are good quality if you find one that's in you know excellent shape out that has not been abused or sat in some kind of storage for a long period of time so if anybody has any comments questions why not about this machine right here feel free to uh, simply leave me a message at the bottom of the page and i'll try to get back to you with uh any kind of basic questions about it so i'll see you guys have a nice day